Hello. So they just announced that they will be releasing uh, spring skins for Sebastian, Isaac, and Jet on in uh, next week. Um, like I said, spring skins are actually for guys this time. You originally, like I said, spring skins are always for International Women's Day. So before last year, the spring skins are always for women, but I guess they ran out of women to give them to or whatever. But Sebastian is going to get a magic uh, defense skin. This is right. This may or may not be good. Like this, so magic defense. So Sebastian only has nineteen thousand eight hundred seventy magic defense. So the new skin will take him over thirty thousand, which is a pretty big boost. So that is the difference between taking max damage from Aurora versus uh, mitigating most of Aurora's damage. So this could either be really good or really bad. Um, it's bad that it probably means uh Sebastian will use Ode to Serenity uh less often. Especially versus Aurora. Um, against anything else, so besides Aurora, though, Sebastian's probably still taking max damage. So honestly, the magic defense skin might be a I might be skip skip uh on him. I I just it's gonna be low value. Like there's just right the main the main benefit he will see from uh the magic defense skin will be versus Aurora, and like he will take less damage versus Aurora, but it probably means he'll get uh slower ode to Serenity. So that's going to be the balance there. Um, whether or not having more more magic defense and Aurora has penetration um, is what you want or not. Like that's that's always a balancing act because uh, he'll have enough magic defense to pretty much cut cut her damage about almost in half. So be able to mitigate quite a bit of it. I mean, maybe not quite most of it. I think it's about nine thousand for fifty percent. So it looks like it actually be about eight thousand. I did my math slightly wrong the first time I had, but like. He'll mitigate quite a bit more, which also means slower energy generation versus Aurora. So you have to balance that out because Zode Disrendi, most powerful ability in the game. Um, and you, getting that up quickly is usually like what wins you games. Like if you you need to get that up quick as possible. Um, so definitely um something to think about. I don't know, like it's just I just don't see it being the most valuable skin of these skins. It's probably the worst one. Um Isaac's also getting a new skin. Isaac is probably more useful. His is going to be armor penetration. Um, he only has like 21, 750 armor penetration naturally, um, which is not too bad, but he does buff armor penetration, which might make it seem like an armor pen skin is worthless for him. But because of uh, Osh the Keeper, um, if you go to guild raids, um, if you want him to do max damage, he usually needs like two or three buffs up to do the maximum damage here. So this is versus the 160 boss here. Like, if you go... Let's get to get going here. So yeah, like he said, he'll spam up a bunch of armor pen buffs and I'll let him do max damage really quickly. But once all the buffs fade... Okay, so now we got the spheres back. He doesn't have the armor pen buffs now. So he doesn't do as much damage as they don't die. It's usually he has to get like two or three of those armor pen buffs up to really start taking out those spheres. Like, so I just like that, because I think they have about 80,000 armor. I don't know the exact numbers, but I think they have around 80,000 armor. So having that extra 10,000 uh, armor penetration will allow him to just be able to kill the Sears just a little bit faster. I mean, it might not be game changing, but it will uh, it will help make him a bit more consistent, help kill these things just a bit faster before he gets a bunch of armor pin buffs up. It allows like first or second. Uh, burst to finally do it. Like, once he gets, like, three armor pen buffs, obviously he's gonna be doing max damage. But before then, though, it can, uh, definitely help make him a bit more consistent. Uh, versus that, and like I said, all of Isaac's kind of, like, the most important hero after Smash. Like, Isaac and Smash are the super important heroes you really want to develop for Osh Keeper. Uh, magic defense not gonna help Sebastian in this fight, but, uh, armor pen will help Isaac, so, uh, armor pen is definitely gonna help here. So that's not a bad skin, um... I guess I'll show you, show you, let you just watch the rest because you guys are probably interested. But uh, this is what this battle looks like if you're like have like super high team. You can do 100 million damage. In case you wonder, it's Sebastian is the MVP of damage, best DPS in the game, Sebastian. All right, so but then the last one is Jets. My Jets probably on the very bottom here. Yep. Jet, my level one hero. Um, so Jet's gonna get magic attack skin. Right, he already has a magic attack skin, but magic attack is his most important stat because he is a um like well, a healer, but 
like all of his skills are magic attack base. See, that's 20%, 10%, 2.5, blah, blah. They do not scale well. So magic attack skin is not going to help him quite as much as it will like some other heroes. Some heroes have much better scaling. So, but it will help his ability to heal a bit more. It will help him. Uh, like I said, this will help the physical. Also, boost. he also gives a physical attack boost with this one. So it will let him boost his allies a bit more. This will uh, reduce armor a bit more. Um, this will buff crit a bit more. So magic attack, obviously, like obviously overall, but this is the best skin of them. Like if otherwise, well, except for the fact that Jet's the worst hero of these three by far. Sebastian and Isaac are both much, much better heroes than Jet. Jet's one of those heroes that he's kind of a niche use. He's o he's okay in very specific teams or specific use cases. Um, like he is, he can kind of be a, a Rufus counter, except Morgan's better, and uh, his ability, like the potion of fatigue, uh, could be blocked by Ode to Serenity. So he's not the most reliable Rufus counter. He can counter Rufus. I guess it's something to note. Um, but. Yeah, it's like I said, Magic Attack, though, if you are using Jet, though, that's definitely a must-have skin, because Magic Attack obviously is best on, plus he has the Barbarian skin, which makes him look really sinister, because he has that uh, that mustache and that beard and stuff. It just makes super sinister look. The rest of all, look, he just looks crazy in the rest. This one, this one looks a lot more humble. The rest of these ones look crazy. And this one makes him look really sinister. Um, so we'll see what the magic attack one. It'll be a spring skin. Um, you got the art here. I guess I could put the arts up here. Um, which kind of what I said, we don't see the full thing. So we'll see what they look like next week when they actually release them. Um, yeah, not too much more to say on that. Uh, you know, skins like I've used those heroes. They might be worth getting, uh, at least, at least, uh, Isaac and Jet skins are Sebastian skin. You might want to skip it. Um, that's going to be the most controversial, but. You know, more magic defense means more survivability for Sebastian, but slow road to serenity might also be um bad. Like, you know, and this is really like the only other case, except honestly, outside of Aurora, I just can't think that extra magic defense really helping him too much. I mean, maybe versus Arachne, except Arachne buffs our magic pen with her ult, so he probably won't get hit by Arachne too much unless she's ulting, so that probably won't matter too much. Um who has magic damage? Nope, she has. She already has that much magic penetration, pure damage. Uh, Helios. Helios doesn't get a lot of magic penetration, so I guess it'll help versus Helios. Maybe Leanne. She does some magic damage. So Helios, Leanne, Jorgen. Ah, uh, no, Peppy probably has a lot, so. Yeah, there's not. I mean, maybe Phobos, I guess. I guess it will help versus Phobos. That might be actually... Does he... Oh, no, he buffs... What's he buff? Does he buff Magic Pen? No, he buffs Magic Attack, right? Buffs... No, Magic Defense. Ooh. Okay. Um, What's his items? Does he get Magic Pen items? No, he doesn't have Magic Pen. So it might be good versus Phobos. Phobos a lot of times will target Sebastian, so that is... So that might be the best the best use is like for versus Phobos. Looks like Phobos doesn't get a lot of magic penetration. Um, so that might be the best use case is actually versus Phobos. Maybe Kai. I don't know, Kai probably gets I know Kai gets a lot, so maybe well, not Kai. So Phobos, Aurora, Helios, Leanne, or kind of when Jorgen. That's so those five heroes are what you're gonna get with uh the magic defense skin. Phobos is actually one that make might make a lot of sense because Phobos can pick Sebastian. Have a bit more survivability first. Phobos might matter. Um, but the downside, like I said, more like I said, taking less damage from Aurora might not always be a good thing because it might mean slower Ode So you have to think you have to think about that. Um, I do think it is the worst of these three skins. So um anyway, uh, let me know what you think below. And if you want to know more about Isaac, check out the video below. Thanks for watching.